Isn't this great? You got more chickies. We got this box and I don't know what it is. Hey, they're right here. It was a special delivery. Is that what? Yeah. yeah. These are chickens from a hatchery. Uh, I can't really tell you much about them. Hopefully, they're all safe. Oh. Hi. You okay? What a terrible first three days of life. Close this up. Are you the boy? Hey. Chicken pulmonary rescue. You are freak freaking me out. Oh no. Use your pinkies for that CPR. Oh my gosh. Look how tall so he's cute. He's standing up tall. Oh, penguin baby. So this is the Polish. You can tell because he's got the f Polish hair. Oh yeah? It looks just like Luke's, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah, you're right. Wild. Oh, fucking adorable. Look at him standing up tall. Yeah, wow, what Woo. a G. I love him. He's my fave. Put a little brown on his back. Look at this one. He's so fat. <laughs> so floofy. Love it. Hi. <laughs> Time so for the donkey. Time for the donkey. Woo. Yay, thirsty chickies. Freaking out. Freaking out. That was loud. A good sense of balance. Oh, you're the Brahma? Oh my gosh. Yo, you have the babies. The what? Oh, yes. That was loudest. Yeah, we'll put it back. It'll be cold. No, no, I'm putting them in. I'm putting them out. Putting them in what? In this tank. These aren't the, these aren't the, these are the delivery. Oh, the one you just pulled out was delivered. Yes. It has hairy feet. Yeah. So what is I, it? A dark brahma maybe? Oh, okay, that's why Wait, I got one. No, this brahma. is the dark brahma, Tim. Look at the furry feet. Oh. Furry feet. Oh, hello. This is probably a cochin. Oops. Cochin. And into the wiring drip. I like Dungeon? his hair. Dungeon? <laughs> Same Polish stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you babes. Hey, you're so precious. Oh. Poof hair. Oh. Hello, poof hair. I gotta bring, I put the two Red Star girls in the coop inside. Mm -hmm. the, the little house. I gotta bring them food, though. Oh. So. They're just all so precious. Yeah, and these ones have, <laughs> oh, look, you seen poofing? No, and he's gonna taste it? Is this food? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, he's smart. This is recycled food. It's like, that ain't food. Oh shit, that ain't food. So, hollowed books. I read the pages from their hollowed books, hoping I could find bee leaf. Bee leaf. Bee leaf. Something more than emptiness The identity door accomplishment Standing on the wreckage of the fallen cause And I'll find the world among the stars <clears throat> Yeah, these are good. Alright, make a lot more sense. And uh, I need all oh, the water's in there. Yeah, there's water in there. That's yours. Let's see if we can do it. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and take this guitar off. Oh, it's so hot in here. Yeah, man, I know, it's miserable. It's so hot in here. Um, it's so hot in here. We 
just do like a practice run that you might be able to take and we'll just see what happens? That's what I'm thinking. Usually your practice runs are, uh, since you're not thinking about it as much, even uh, more malleable. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and, and hit record do it. and uh, do just it. sing your heart out. Here do we go. came from an empty gland who told me tales of conflict and the damned I asked him how it all got started he looked at me and then he said I spent the night staring through the trees as the stars stared back at me I read the pages from their Hoping I could find belief I wanted to believe in something Basic fan and strife, fan of all at all He tried to travel the stars to bring us all He bound hard to make his journey The story continues and he said I spent the day sifting through the weeds As the stars stared back at me I tore the pages from their hollow books They could never grant relief I wanted to believe But I dreamt of something more than In desperate odds, he begged of conquered nations, a fumbled gods. He told me how his story ended. He stood before me and he said, I stand before you as an honor man, as my gifts befall the land. I wrote the pages in your hollow. To help you understand and Now believe in me Well I dreamt of something more than emptiness Behind every door I found regrets Look upon my work in mighty and despair It's a weird song for me to sing from the get-go, so that's why I wanted Phil to come in, because, I don't know, but we can try again. Dude, you got it today. That actually sounded really good. Yeah, there's a lot of fault. There's a lot of fuck-ups. Yeah, but I can take those out. <laughs> no, that was a solid take, uh, especially on the choruses. Um, gee, I th I'm trying to think of the best way to get the most out of your voice without having you lose it. Do you want to just do that same thing again? Uh, let's, let's, let's do it again. Let's go again. All right.
old man on a limited skate another day. All right, yeah. Yeah, I didn't really like throw it out, throw it out, but. I can feel it. I'd rather be able to play guitar and do work, so. Thirty-five. Method, right? When you, that's the like, end of early thirties, and that's the beginning of your late thirties. That's when you gotta start actually icing and stretching and all that. You shit. do a mute and then you pull it back. It's a method, right? Uh, yeah. Well, I think there's like it's like a tweaked mute is different than a method. I so I grabbed it like this and then pulled it back. Yeah, I think that's a method actually. I mean, uh, in a skateboard, it's a method when you jump and you go like that, your feet up. Yeah, mute, tweaked. I think is a method. It's been a long time since I did it. Oh, man. the vert terminology. 